All right, coming up on the show, Brady plays the entire first half, plus Aaron Rodgers, the GOAT. All right, so Skip Bayless on Fox Sports today had an issue with Bill Belichick playing Tom Brady for the entire first half of the Patriots' preseason game last Thursday night against the Eagles. He uh, suggested that the owner, Robert Kraft, keep a close eye on how Belichick handles Brady, as if Bill didn't have his quarterback's best interests in mind. What are you trying to say exactly, Skip Bayless? I just don't get what you're trying to say. Are you saying that Bill Belichick is totally unfazed by the thought of Tom Brady getting hurt? Or that he wants Tom Brady to get hurt? So he can say, ha, I told you so we should have kept Jimmy? That's insane. If you see that Bill Belichick is being hard on Tom Brady, criticizing Tom Tom Brady. It's not because he's resentful and wishes Brady wasn't there. It's because he's always been hard on the quarterback. He's always coached the quarterback hard. Bill Belichick is all in on Brady as his quarterback. Whether or not he wanted to keep Garoppolo, and there was a reason that he played Brady for the entire first half on Thursday. So Steelers wide receiver Antonio Brown in an Instagram post called Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers the GOAT. Aaron Rodgers is not the GOAT. Uh, the GOAT needs to go to more than one Super Bowl. Now again, not only has Aaron Rodgers won just one Super Bowl, he's only been to one Super Bowl. Okay, if you're the GOAT, you go to more Super Bowls than one. You need a great defense slash head coach to win the Super Bowl, but you do not need those things to get there. This is a quarterback league. This is a pass-happy league. Rodgers is an elite talent. One of the best quarterbacks ever, but certainly not the GOAT. To be labeled as the GOAT, you need more than talent. You need the resume. And he simply does not have it. I think he's closer to Dan Marino than he is to the GOAT. Whoever the GOAT is, it's Brady. All right, take a pick. Which athlete drafted by a Boston team has generated more hype? Jason Tatum or Jimmy Garoppolo? The answer here has to be Jimmy Garoppolo. He's a quarterback in the National Football League. He won two Super Bowl rings playing for a high-profile team like the Patriots. He backed up Tom Brady. Bill Belichick traded him. There's a ton of intrigue there. Did Bill just give away the next great quarterback? Jason Tatum did lead his team to Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals against LeBron James in the NBA playoffs. Boy, did he look the part. He's probably more of a proven commodity at this point than Jimmy G just based on sample size, but Jimmy G has more hype. If Jason Tatum goes on a date with a porn star, it's probably not national news. All right, final take your pick. Who's the better morning show anchor, Nora O'Donnell or Savannah Guthrie? Listen, I have a thing for Nora O'Donnell. She's my answer. I mean, both did a great job dealing with absolute scum on the desk with them. I just view Nora as more of an anchor and host and personality. Savannah Guthrie is not as much of an anchor to me. She's more of a yuck it up talking head. That's fine for that kind of show. Nora can do that, but at the same time, she can dominate political coverage. I just think she can do a little bit more. All right, my walk of the day, I'll take the Indians tonight, plus one and a half at Fenway Park against the Red Sox. Corey Kluber's on the mound for Cleveland tonight, opposite Rick Porcello. I'll take Kluber in that matchup. I'll take Cleveland to at least cover tonight. That's my walk of the day. Have a good one. Well, as you know, I'm not on Snapface and all that, so I don't really get those.